Welcome to Comment Cocktails, I'm your host Derek Sharp, with me Ian Andrews, and today we're going to review a, a liquor that will captivate your friends with a drink that shivers! And it's the second Vinique product we've reviewed. We've yes. reviewed the Vinique purple stuff already. <laughs> the Vinique, Vinique purple, purple stuff, stuff and Vinique shimmery liqueur, liqueur Red stuff. ruby. Oh, now, ruby. Okay. Uh, oh well, I guess I'll start with this. First off, Vinique just sent this to me, so I guess that's my view of transparency. I didn't pay a dime for it. Um, <laughs> it you know what though? It's the it's shimmeriness. I like the it's shimmery really of this cool. one over the. The, the, the shimmery in this one, it, it it hovers. It's got some hovering shimmer. It just looks yeah. like a like a gemstone or something. It the looks other one like a gel almost. It's the other one doesn't. Affect it. I don't know. What, it's gotta be around there somewhere. I don't know where I put it. You got too much stuff. It might be under there. I don't know. I haven't seen it in a while. It's, it's floating. It oh, dude. You think it's gone? No, it's not gone. It's they, gone. they grow legs. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm very happy with. They sent me a tiny bottle, like the thin bottle. If yeah. you guys. Excuse me. If you find this at the store, this is probably 375 or something. Yeah. Typically, you're gonna see. Um, a 750, which is what we have the other one because the other one I purchased. Is it written it right there? Freaking say, uh, 65 millimeter. That does not a thing. No. Nope. No. Oh, that must be. I don't know what that yeah, is. Okay. Let me find it. You're not gonna find 375. it. 375. <laughs> Dude! Right there. See under. It's face. barely readable. But they no. didn't but put it in. It. They wrote <laughs> it's red text on red. This is I. I don't know. You know, it looks like silk. The it purple does. one just looked mysterious. It does. This one looks. This one looks like. I don't know, like, like velvet. a velvet. Yeah, yeah, it's like velvet. Yeah. Um, and maybe you, you guys can here? see it. <laughs> yeah, what? Well, we don't need. Your hair is not sticking up. Get over here. <laughs> she added her two cents. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. It smells <laughs> red. <laughs> it smells red. Doesn't it smell it? What red. red? You smell get red. It smells like cherries, oh. and like strawberries, and yeah. I'm looking for the peach. I don't. I, I don't smell peach. But no, it doesn't mean it's not um, gonna taste like Whoa, peach. Whoa, it's got some vodka in there. Yeah, um, here's the deal. Yeah. I don't know. Don't so, ask him. He's I can't. Let me, let me find the writing. <laughs> it's twenty percent. It's, it's yeah. Moscato vodka in natural flavor, right? Natural fruit flavors. They just don't want to tell you what the fruit is. It's the. Well, colors. it's natural flavor. That's what you it have could to be find chemicals. out when you drink but it. Chemicals taste naturally like chemicals if they're right. Does that, does that work that way? Yeah. No. Alright, let's put this on. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Looks like a Star Trek drink. So room temperature, so it's gonna be a little bit. You get some berry out of there. It tastes like rubies. It looks like a portal in World of Warcraft or something. <laughs> I don't know You're why. Still, we're still in this World of Warcraft. Wow, no, seriously, that right? looks just like a portal in World of Warcraft. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not crazy. How do you do that? You it's been, yeah. And then you stop. Do you have to stop? That's part of it? Yeah. You're right, dude. That's so Dude, cool. I just want to go in there and fight the mobs on the other side. I know, right? <laughs> wow. Uh, geek. Wait, what do we do? LFG. Uh, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One tank, LFG. One DPS. He's always DPS. No, you tank. Oh, yeah, yeah, he healed too. He healed too. Oh, yeah, too. you're a healer. I forgot about that. Hmm. Well, it's sweet. It's it, it's got like a, a little my, bit of a burn. I get um, bad. cherry Jolly Rancher. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or strawberry Jolly Rancher. It, it's got about the same red. burn as a peach, uh, the peach, like a peach tree, peach knobs. It's got the same. You think? It, it's not as thick as that, but I think the burn quality, like with the sweetness and the ethanol, you is get, about the same. I don't remember if I get burn from peach knobs. You don't get burn, but you get alcohol. I think it's got the same like level a, of alcohol. I get the I have that like the level of alcohol that I get out of um He's gonna go find some peach tree. Um uh, no, like it's it's a little it definitely has more alcohol to it, but more like an alizé or a hypnotic. You think I'm gonna get the same level of burn out of that? I don't know. Tastes what like a sweeter booms farm? Straw Hill. <laughs> Straw Hill. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Boons farming. Boons farm, strawberry yeah. boons farm. It's got that same like without the shimmer. The uh, same alcohol feel to it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't make me smell like booze when I gotta drive. You, you know what I mean though? The, the alcohol and the sweetness have the same effect, I think. Oh yeah, maybe in the end. Mm. I don't know, it's still sweeter. You want some peach tree? <laughs> this has some pucker to it too. Compared to that, that's a lot sweeter. This has like a, after tasting that, and it kind of makes you go, mm. Mm -hmm. just a little bit like that. Is that the, uh, um, Shake well before serving. 
artificial color added. Only shake well because it's cool. So you guys could check this out at vinique.com, um, mm. v-i-n-i-q.com. We'll, we'll use this later in the week. I thought it had strawberry qualities to it. Yeah, yeah thank it, you. It, it, I could do this all day. I know, right? Um, <laughs> we did the same thing with the purple. It just yeah. mystifies you. Now, it's, it's uh, unfortunately, I've I've seen how Wizard of Oz ends, and I've seen how this is. I, I saw the magic sauce behind the curtain on this one too. Mm. It's the pearl, pearl dust. dust. Pearl dust. If you put pearl dust in anything, it you'll get Which, this impact. We made a cocktail with the pearl dust right. uh, during Spock Week. Yeah, in, it, but I, I would. It would have been nothing I would have ever thought of if it wasn't for these guys because mm. I was just like, dude, what am I drinking that causes me not to die, but also yeah. does this? <laughs> yeah, and it's an edible pearl dust, so you get that. Right. But I mean, no, I don't know of any other company that's done that. It is, it's pretty like. It's pretty unique, Vinique. <laughs> it, it makes sense. Like I, it's a good. When you're looking at bottle design and, and that's your thing, hmm. another vodka brand or um, like the Alize with Hypnotics, which is just like another uh, nightclub brand. Right. If you, they, it's been done. Differentiate so, yourself, and that's a cool way. To right. Do it. You take it's got the portal going on top. Um, if you hmm. take. Portland. Whatever the strawberry cherry, I'm gonna go with red Jolly Rancher. I don't know what the flavor is, oh, but it has that. That's fine. Maybe it's a combination of them, but um, the, it's like even, red and it's like even a sour. sweet, like the, it's sweet and tart. Though. It's tart, but if so is uh, maybe it's not true with the Jolly Rancher. It seems like it's it's so overly sweet it almost tastes dry. Yeah. Um, hmm. The co we'll make a cocktail that figures, and we'll see if it makes any impact oh, besides the cool color. And, and that's going right into the queue after this episode. All right, so then I guess we'll, we, we could be done the episode. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Question of the day. Oh, I didn't even get any questions of the day. You'll have um, to do that. Do we have any questions Sorry. today, guys? No. Nope. Really? What right. an inquisitive group we get today. Well, then I guess the the question of the day, I'm going to have you guys do the work for me. If you had a product that tasted similar to a Red Jolly Rancher, so think the sweetness but also a little bit of tart, what would you pair it with? Um, mm. Just a single item. What would it be? What would it mix with? Or yeah. food wise or I don't care. alcohol wise? You can put you, you can marinate your steak with it if you want to, but I'm thinking more of a maybe a, a flavor pairing for a cocktail. Maybe like a, maybe a salmon. <laughs> maybe not steak. A little blended <laughs> yeah, maybe a salmon. Uh, like, you know, and not not just vodka flavor, but I mean like yeah. a, maybe a liqueur or a fruit. Mm. You know, pair it with grapefruit, maybe pair it with oranges, or strawberry or herbs or Benedictine. Benedictine. Uh, Jägermeister. I don't pair anything. Grenadine. <laughs> Benedictine and tomato soup. There you go. Benedictine, oh. tomato soup with a little vinique. Right. It's the best thing on the planet. <laughs> I've made it. I'm sure you have. <laughs> All right. We good? I think we got it. I think we're good. Then you get these uh, tasting glasses. Yeah, these Glencarn glasses at awesomedrinks.com. Oh, yeah. Now we're good. I buy almost all my bar gear at awesomedrinks.com. If there's bar gear you don't buy from us, I don't want to hear it! That's bullshit! <laughs> all right, we're done! We're teaching you how to drink! So, hey, it's all fair. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm Derek and that's Ian. Oh, yeah. In case I haven't done that part, because we're just like, oh, shit. Oh, this actually smells kind of interesting. Um, it's purple. It's, uh, caffeinated friendly.